interpreted by a journalist or, or anybody else and, and put out there, I get to say, as I see it. So, uh, you live here in town, right? So, what are you doing the rest of the year when you're not running? Are you going to do Vegas this year? Well, you know, every year I've managed to, for the last three, four years, I've managed to do about six races. So, you know, hopefully we can build on that program and hopefully I'm setting myself a good base to, you know, put myself in a full season next year. And that's, that's really what we're shooting for. So, Hugo, what's his job? Because I've been tweeting with him a lot of his career. Hugo, all he wants to do is get more Twitter followers than me. <laughs> That's his goal. And I'm telling him, if that ever gets to a stage, I will tell everybody that follows me that he's a fake and not to follow him so that I can stay ahead. No, he's a great kid. He loves motorsports. You know, he's very involved. He goes to a very clever kid as well. Goes to school in D.C. And he loves racing, comes to help me out here. Uh, just a little bit of organization, looking after the helmet. To working with the team, tickets and stuff like that. So around town here, what what's your favorite place to eat? To eat? To eat food. Um, I like there's a sushi restaurant, sushi house, and uh, a place called Ichiban as well. Two sushi places that are very close uh, to my house. I, I enjoy sushi. It's nice and clean. I tell you what's also good is Five Guys Burger. Oh yeah. That's, that is. All those fries. Yeah. Those, you been to Boogie yeah. Burger yet? No. Yeah. Down in Broad Ripple. Is it good? Best burger in town. Actually, I went there and it was closed down. They moved. To they the moved. They're on uh, Broad Ripple Avenue. Yeah, because someone said that, and I was going to go there. I cheat every now and then with my training regime, but uh, yeah, I'll go to that. Yeah, that fun. that picture of you on Twitter with the, the was it the John's picture? Which one? The you with the. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> was it? Uh, yeah, it's dirty, obvious you don't. Yeah, yeah, you don't cheat very often, do you? No, but I mean it's 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 easy to cheat when you put you know four hours a day in gym, so every now and then. But I like to make sure. For me, training is more giving me mental strength. You know, it's it's a lot. It's, it's very good for my body. But when I know I put so much work in, I, I, I just when I arrive to the track, I've already got a mental advantage because I feel like I've put in that extra work. Now, if you if you're interested, they're Boogie Burger on Twitter. You you follow them, they'll follow you. Yeah. They've done a great job. Now, I and I did want to ask you a little bit about social media too. Um, I, I think some of the drivers sometimes forget that when we're having a conversation on Twitter, there's a whole lot of people that see it. And, yeah. and you kind of got into it a little bit with Graham yeah. a few months ago. Did you kind of forget that? No, I don't forget. I, mean, I, don't, I don't mind speaking to him right now in front of all you. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. For me, I say it as it is. And, and if I'm going to call you out, I'm going to call you out. I'll call you out in your face. I'll call you in, in front of everybody. So I got... I don't know if I'm lucky. At the end of the day, I like the kid. He's a good guy. I called him out on something. He got very defensive and came after me, and then it just started up. So, but I've got nothing against him. No, and I'm not saying there's a personal thing, but more just kind of on Twitter, you knew that people want, were I watching. To, yeah, I think so. I think it's good. I think it's good for the sport. I think there's a lot of things that maybe the Indy Racing League lacks compared to that other league. That the is taxi so cab league. Yeah, they, they get into it with each other, and people like to see emotion. I think, uh, I think the sports fans of today want to see emotion. They want to see passion. They want to see, you know, if you don't like something, you're going to go speak to someone after a race and there's going to be cameras there. Uh, they don't want to, after you get taken out of Long Beach by your teammates, to go, hey, we're going to go there and look at it. I completely understand from Will's point of view if I drove for Roger, I'd shave also every day. But uh, I think people want to see emotion. And they want to see a real athlete. They don't want to see robots anymore. Okay, awesome.